Yo, what's going on today, guys? So today, we're gonna be doing an XHP tune. Um, first, we're just gonna do like a little before testing. No, we'll see how it goes, man. We'll see how it goes. Let's go ahead and, uh, like when you're shifting and stuff, it doesn't feel like, uh, like how it should for a sports car, even in a sports mode. I mean, sports mode's a little bit better, but nothing like a, Nothing like, uh, you know, from what I hear with XHP, which I have been lagging on pretty hard. I already did replace the transmission with one that had 80,000 miles on it. Did a full transmission service, all that good stuff. There's a bit of like a hesitation, not in like a super bad way. But it's definitely, you know, in a, in kind of like a laggy kind of way. I mean, it's not like the transmission's failing or anything like that. It's just kind of laggy is all. I mean, I want it to, you know, shift like a sports car. Obviously, this is just in stock mode. I heard XHP's really good in even stock mode that it shifts really fast, you know, and really smooth. Because this feels like a, I don't know, it feels very, uh, like, jerky. I You know, we'll put it in sport mode, get a better idea about uh, what it does in sport mode, how it shifts in sport mode. Yeah, see, so these shifts are a lot crisper. Yeah, very crispy. Yeah, very, very crispy. Actually, really, really impressed by it. Downshifts are pretty decent. Yeah, downshifts feel really, really good as well. I mean, not super aggressive, but they feel good. The upshifts are pretty nice. Switch it over to paddle mode see how that goes absolutely terrible we're gonna go ahead and uh, move on to XHP it is a couple days later since I did the XHP tune and the reason why I waited was because I wanted to you know drive it around and do the 50 miles and all that and actually be able to try it out for you guys to know for sure is it worth it or not I honestly think this should be the first mod you guys do on your N54 the drivability is amazing. Even in regular D mode, it's incredibly quick. Um, in paddle mode, it is a night and day difference. I mean, it's extremely fast. The downshifts are, are ridiculous. I mean, I can't even stress it enough, man. This car just completely woke up. This car is absolutely amazing. So um, yeah, you know, uh, it, it's for sure worth it. Um, oh my god the downshifts are just absolutely incredible Pretty soon here guys we'll be doing a port injection and then update video on how the turbos are doing i know a lot of you guys want to hear about that all my thoughts and you know it's been a few months now and you know i've had them installed since the the late of November, I think, or the beginning of November. I can't remember if it's late or the beginning of November, but they've been installed for a while. This is my daily. I just put a lot of miles on it every single day. So 100%.
maybe like 70, 60% throttle. I wasn't really giving it the full beans. We'll do the full beans though, we'll do the full beans. Go ahead and turn off dynamic stability control. Let's try to get this 40 rolling and see what we can do. Downshifts are absolutely wild. I mean, geez, they're absolutely wild. I don't even know what to, to say about them besides that they're absolutely crazy. It's like my first time actually really getting on it and it's an absolute blast. It's adrenaline bumping. It's insane, guys. Oh my gosh. So should you get XHB? Yes. 100% I would get it. I mean, why not? I'm telling ya. It is way too much fun, you guys. XHP. There's a weird little transmission glitch that just happened right now. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and then I'll check it and tell you guys what happened if there's any codes or anything. It's for sure one of the best mods in my opinion that you could get. Uh, yeah, so let me... So I'm back. I guess it was a fluke. Uh, there's no stored fault codes. That was weird how it was like in fourth gear and wouldn't go down to first gear when I did that stop. Not sure if that's still it, like learning. I'm not sure if I said this already, you guys. But another thing I'm for sure going to be doing is um, probably going to redo the filter, or not the filter, but the the transmission fluid with, I think it's called Adrenaline. Um, big transmission tuner recommends it, so I'm going to go ahead and try that out, see if that helps with the transmission shifting and all that good stuff. And then while I'm down there, I'm going to be doing the valve body. Uh, I already did the seals on the transmission. But maybe I'll do them again, just because, uh, you know, new old transmission pan, do all the whole thing again, just because, you know, I want to make sure everything is perfect and there's no issues whatsoever with the transmission because I already had to replace it once. I don't want to have to do it again. And I know for these transmissions, you do have to do them quite often because of uh, just how they are, you know, the things that go wrong with them. So anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. See you next video.